Of course, of course. I made a video yesterday talking about Amari Rogers, and I thought, you know what? If they don't want him at punt returner, maybe see if they put him at wide receiver. Because um, I, I, he hasn't been terrible there. He's, he's really only been terrible as a punt returner. And <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, maybe they hold on to him until, you know, this coming up off season, and then they, you know, try to get something for him if they can. Well, <laughs> they released him. Uh, Kylan Hill was released too. Um, now he, I think it was an ACL, I think, um, last year against the Cardinals and then has been battling injuries this year as well. So um, I think that's just, you know, because – Rano Cobb is supposed to come back. Um, I, forget, I don't remember who else we had on IR, but uh, kind of making room for him. So I don't know if they, I don't know if they would bring him back for like practice squad or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but Amari Rogers is gone. He's probably not going to be back for the practice squad. <laughs> uh, so just, yeah, I love this. Has made zero impact in about a season and two thirds. So basically two years. Uh, only set one game at offense last year, which was at Arizona, when we basically had, you know, our top three wide receivers out. Uh, yeah. I said, I said six and seven. It was actually seven fumbles, eight receptions. So, I was one off for both, so just add one to what I said in my video yesterday. Um, yeah, he got benched for the, uh... Uh, punt fumble against Dallas, which put him up, was it 14 points or whatever, um, has more fumbles than every other receiver, running back, or tight end drafted in 2021. <laughs> oh, my God. He has more than twice as many fumbles as every one of those players other than uh, their Cleveland, uh, Cleveland players. So, uh, yeah, we moved up for him, too. We draft, we, uh, went up, um, moved up the board for him, too. So, just, yeah. Uh, Kylan Hill, again, has been battling injuries and whatnot. Um, and so, again, with Cobb coming off IR probably sometime this week. It might even happen today, to be honest. He might even come off IR today. Uh, we'll see. Um, but again, yeah, ACL. He had a kickoff against Arizona. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, he had, you know, one carry in the Detroit game this year. So, um, yeah, just, it was, it, I feel so bad for him with injuries and whatnot. Uh, again, I don't know if, if they can bring him back to the practice squad. I don't know if they want to or not. Um, who knows? But, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> Meyer Rogers is officially gone a day after I make my video, uh, talking about him. And, you know, again, thinking maybe we can maybe get some value out of him and just bench him for the rest of the year, put him on the practice squad or something, and then get some value out of him somehow, some way. But, nope, we didn't get any. <laughs> so, he's gone. Um, and along with Kylan Hill. So, for now, like the video, share the video around. Don't subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.